Hello and welcome to our video tutorial recording an audio voiceover lecture using PowerPoint. My name is Mike Benson. In this tutorial we will use a PowerPoint from Dr. Fred Adelson's art criticism course to share how to record an audio voiceover. PowerPoint has the built-in capability to record audio of your course presentations. You can use this feature to help increase student learning in your online and blended courses. Once recorded, you can then export these presentations as course videos, which can be integrated into a learning management system such as Canvas, Blackboard, or Moodle. To record your audio, you will need a microphone. Most computers have a built-in microphone. You can also purchase a separate microphone. Or like with what I'm doing with this tutorial, you can simply use the earphones that came with your smartphone. Whichever microphone you decide to use, be sure to read the directions and test the microphone before you record your presentation. One last point with using an entry-level microphone. Always place the microphone slightly to one side of your mouth. This will help reduce popping in the audio when you pronounce words that contain the letters P and B. To record audio, we can go to the Insert menu, down to Audio, then Record Audio. The Record Sound window will open. When you're ready to start your lecture, select the Record button. The big question here is, but is it art? Again, we're looking at, now on the left, bottle rack, on the right, bicycle wheel, two seminal early pieces, store-bought by Marcel Duchamp from the 19-teens. These two works, again, question creativity. They question originality. And they question the whole nature of art making. Once you make your recording, a speaker icon with an audio player will appear on your slide. I recommend resizing and moving this icon to the side so it doesn't interfere with your slide. You can also reposition the items on your slide. To play the audio, move the cursor over the speaker and then select the play button. As you record your audio, don't forget to save after each slide. You don't want to record your entire presentation and then have some type of issue that causes you to lose all your work. In our next video tutorial, we will explore how to export your audio lectures as a video file, which can then be used in your online courses. Thanks for watching.